Welcome to Indiana University Northwest. I'm Chancellor William Lowe. It is a pleasure to welcome to our campus all of our new and returning students, faculty, and staff at the start of what promises to be a successful and productive 2011-2012 academic year. At IU Northwest, you will learn and achieve along with a very diverse student body, which reflects the character of the region and the campus's commitment to it. We know that our students are managing their academic careers and other responsibilities, and that is why our academic programs and services are very flexible, ensuring that our students have convenient access to everything that they need. Student academic success, experienced through engagement with ideas, practical applications, and being an active part of the Northwest Indiana community is central to the Indiana University experience and our Northwest campus. IU Northwest talented teaching scholars and staff are committed to excellence and dedicated to helping you achieve your goals from one individual and academic success to the next. Your faculty members are fine teachers who also help create the knowledge in their fields. A good way to learn about IU Northwest is to meet our students. The short video that follows will give you a snapshot of our thriving campus and how students like you bring IU Northwest to life each day. We're expected a lot from and the teachers and the staff here definitely understand that and they try their best to help us out and that's one of the biggest things that helps me out because I have teachers that understand that we all come from different backgrounds and we all have different stories and situations and they definitely understand that from students, this being a commuter college. I take about 17 credit hours and on top of 17 credit hours I work 20 to 30 hours a week here and I do volunteering. <laughs> so like in the first semester where I started working at the hospital, I worked all day shifts. And so I found a way to make my schedule at school where I went to school two days a week, got all my classes done, and worked in the mornings so that I had every other day. And that worked lovely. And then when my schedule changed where I worked nights at the hospital, I found a way to make my schedule where I'm only three days a week in the mornings and then I go to work at night and so just the avail availability that IUN has of their classes has helped me to kind of <laughs> be able to go to work and go to school and not get overwhelmed with trying to balance the two but they seamlessly work together. My experience with IUN and the SPIA department um, they were very accessible, um, easy to call, talk to, um, if you need one-on-one -on -one attention you know, they were there for that um, from the staff you know down to the adjunct professors they were always uh, able to be contacted during their business hours. I deployed you know, throughout my uh, degree and they were <laughs> very cooperative. I talked to them while I was overseas. Um, they just really were, I guess, a, a good team for me to be a part of. The transition away from the um, school, actually, I don't even remember. I just remember getting told I had to deploy and withdrawing from all my classes. Um, I was gone for 12 months, you know, so when I came home, from Afghanistan, it was a transition, but they were, I mean, I just came right back in. It was no, no transition, honestly. I got back, it was different students. That was probably the biggest transition for me because my class that I came in with, they had all graduated. So I was just me and people thought I was a new student. And I think some challenges that uh, I think the school in general, I mean, specifically SPIA, you know, helped me overcome was, yeah, my military obligations. You know, I have to go for training sometime, I have training before class sometime, after class sometime. I come to class late, you know, just a lot of different um, things with the military. I'm gone for two weeks, you know, hey, I'm gonna miss class for two weeks, you know, but they were very, very, you know, supportive of my, you know, my situation. You know, so I, as far as everything goes, I don't think, um, like I said, another university might not have, you know, kept track, you know, kept up with me. Oh, one of the things that I would not have expected was the amount of diversity on this campus. Um, I wasn't sure um, how I would fit in to the campus, and sure enough, coming here, I was accepted right away. I do work, um, I'm a janitor, and I have my work schedule. I also work around on campus um, as a supplementary instructor. Um, work is mostly in the evenings, um, late at night. When I get done with school, I go to work, or sometimes when I'm on break, because I work five minutes away from here. On I'm on break, I'll go there and work for a couple hours before I have my next class. So that's how I balance school and work. When you, when you have many things to balance, it prepares you for the future. 
um, for a career because right now I'm talking about work that's just a job to me. A career would be something like where I'm going into medicine, be a doctor. That's something that you have to balance a lot of things around and being able to balance my school and my work um, together has given me uh, a greater confidence in, in that I, I know I'll be successful when I leave college or when I leave the university and go into medical school and become a doctor. No one said you're ridiculous for coming back to school at your age. I was 39 when I came back to school. And no one said, this is gonna to be too hard for you, you have two kids. I, I was welcomed and I was actually somewhat courted. Um, they seemed to understand that I was smart, I had a willingness to learn, that I wanted to be here. And so every step of the way, I was encouraged through that enrollment process. When I went back, I went back on my terms of part-time. And for a long time, that was one class a semester. And I, my children were actually very small at the time. And so it was a matter of, the, actually the availability of some night classes actually helped. My husband works full time downtown, so being able to come at night and jostle, once they got a little older, everybody was in school full time, then I looked at the course catalog, figured out what I needed to take, and then just adjusted my life around it. And you make it work. If you wanna make it work, you can make it work here. When you meet our students and hear their stories, I think that you can see why I'm so proud to be chancellor at IU Northwest. From the full-time student to the adult learner who takes one course per semester, my faculty colleagues and I take each student's academic success and progress to graduation as a personal commitment. We are successful when you are successful. In behalf of the entire campus community, I thank you, students and your families, for choosing Indiana University Northwest. I wish you all the best as you pursue your learning objectives. Thank you and have a great academic year.